everybody. Nick here from 4playernetwork.com. Yo, dog, it's Brad. And we're at E3 2015. We're on the show floor. We just played a little game called Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Mirror's Edge, Mirror's Edge Zero, if you will. Are you ready for a new Mirror's Edge game, Brad? I am. You know, it's it was very awkward for me at first, like Mirror's Edge is. But when I started getting the groove, it all kind of came back to me. It's, it's been a while since I've played the original. I can't remember specifically how the controls worked in that one, but th they've, they've basically simplified things down to using two main buttons in this game. So it was like that in the first one. It was? Okay, yes. so you had, you had the left shoulder pad or shoulder button uh, for, go for doing upward momentum actions. I think it was less holding the button, though, and you, were, you had to press it more. Yeah, so but this is more like if you're running in a particular style. direction and you hold it, when you hit a point to go upwards, it's going to move you upwards. But, um, yeah. but anyways, they gave us kind of a... Uh, an overview of the game. They gave us three main objectives that we could that we could choose to do in any order we want and kind of explore the world a little bit yeah. because this is an open world game, or it would, seems. And you would set a waypoint and it would dynamically create the, the red runner's vision to the place you want to go. Which I like because... It would, it, would, it would change too, depending on if you went would, off path. It would change dynamically. So if you veered off the path, it would. it's like GPS. It would suddenly start calculating a new route for you. Uh, but it kind of prevents the whole world from being overshadowed with all this like red stuff everywhere well, because that's only the there. The they had to do it this way is because it's it's like a big open area and in the first one it was very linear so the objects themselves were just red and yes. that would that would kind of point you in that direction. This is a little different because you kind of got to get going and then you start seeing the red stuff and that tells you how to get there. Exactly. Uh, and I, I was pretty impressed by how quickly I kind of uh, got back into the into the swing of things. Yeah. Uh, you may have, so how, you did the combat, right? Yeah. Actually, we both did the combat. Um, how did you feel? That seems a little more simplified. Um, like, takedowns are more powerful. There, there's, it's there's probably a, a good thing, though, right? There's also cinematic angles uh, with some of the takedowns. Like, I slid into a dude, and, and the camera kind of pulled back as I did, like, an Eddie Gordo to take him out. So you were in third person at that, mo at that yes. point. So the game will actually pull you out of first person when you do like special takedown abilities yes, and whatnot. Which that wasn't the case in the first no, one. No, everything was... I, it's kind of weird because I'm a little torn on that because it looks cool, but it also, I feel like it kind of compromises the whole like, in, a little bit of the integrity of like the vision of that game, which is keep you in first person at all times for everything eh, that you do. Well, but faith is hot, so they so, want to show the lady. It's so minute, um, whatever. Deus Ex does that too. Um, that is true. But um, it feels very Mirror's Edge. I mean, this it's open-ended, which is cool, but uh, as far as the things that we did, it was kind of the three things you did in the first Mirror's Edge, insofar as you know the combat, the, the running fast, and the races. But then what I didn't like about the first Mirror's Edge was kind of the slower, looking where I need to go, then jumping onto it. It wasn't so much like that here. It was kind of faster paced, but yeah. I'm w wondering if this game is is going to have some more of those indoor environments well, where I, things can really slow down. At several down. points throughout the demo, I actually kind of veered off the path they were trying to tell me to go, yeah. and I ended up going through, like, bursting through doors. Yeah, I did that and too. And ended up, ended up in, like, an interior space, and I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here or not, but it's kind of cool that you can do that. And it, it, it always kind of steers you, though. Like, it's, it's, it seems like it's hard to get lost as long as you have a waypoint set. Yeah, but. well, the thing is, Mirror's Edge is a game, I think... Because of the way, because of what it is, I think it, it's one of those games that I think needs a little bit of hand holding, a little bit. Because the the whole the success of the game is built on the the ability for the player to be super fast, Movement. super always building momentum, yeah. always knowing where you're going. And if and if they didn't really give you any kind of indication as to where you were going, I could see you getting like yeah. stopping way too much. Like like turning turning that off and like finding an objective, which just not be possible yeah. really, because sure. everything would just be white. But I mean, it's it's cool. What do you think of what else? What do you think of the story? I don't know. I, mean, I, couldn't, like, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like in what we saw behind in the stage thing. Uh, I think it, I, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with the story, the lore, because seems a lot more well done than the insurance commercials for yes, sure. Yes, yes, that's the, that's the big thing. I, big takeaway is the the uh, the cinematics look beautiful. The characters look beautiful. The voice acting. The seems voice better. acting seems really solid. Um, I don't know. I think I think all around it looks like a. It kind of feels like Mirror's Edge One was more of like a proof of concept, and like this is kind of like what I kind of wanted the first one to be. From I'll the say beginning. this. I think if you like Mirror's Edge, you're probably gonna like this one, but it's still very much that thing. Yes. Where if you get really frustrated when you miss a jump and you gotta kind of slowly climb up a wall awkwardly, I, like that's still pretty much in this game. I played for 13 minutes, and I, that happened to me about three times. 
yeah, it happens. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I don't know. Mirror's Edge yeah. too. We'll talk a little bit more about it in depth on the podcast tonight. Yeah. Uh, once it's sunk in a little bit more, so look for that on fourplayernetwork.com. And uh, I guess we're gonna go play some more video games. All right. Later. Thanks for watching.